Yes. When the weather takes a cooler turn, as it's doing right now, it's nothing like warming up with a hot drink. I'll tell you, skip the coffee and the hot cocoa. Make a perfect cup of tea. This is not working out for me. Joining us now, David Edwards, the owner of the New Mexico Tea Company here in the Duke City. He has some tips on how to brew the perfect cup of tea. David, good morning. Thanks for being good here. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, here's my deal. I'm a tea drinker. Yes. But I can never make tea nearly as good at home as I can get it at a tea shop. Yes. Why? Well, probably because at the tea shop they know how to brew it. And okay. you might not know how to that do that. That probably is the whole thing. Yes. Also, having the right equipment is important. And uh, once you get the right equipment, then it's easy to brew tea at home. Okay. So we have a few uh, We're different talk things about here. The, the best way to brew tea at home because it's great this time of year. Yeah. You're a big fan, it seems, of what you guys sell a lot of at the New Mexico Tea Company is this loose tea. In fact, you'll show some in there. Not the kind that we buy at the store in the tea bags, but this stuff that you kind of have to use a diffuser with, right? That's correct. Loose tea is uh, better tasting for a lot of reasons. It's fresher. The leaves are bigger, so it stays uh, fresher even longer than tea bags. Uh, and you can also use as much as you want or as little as you want. So you can okay. really have control over what your final taste is. Okay. But with loose tea, you have to have an infuser to make the tea with. All right, so we're going to talk about this. You buy the loose tea at your shop or at tea shops, and then you have to brew it somehow. You can brew a pot of this, and you have these great, the, it, you can't brew it uh, just like the way you would pop a tea bag in a cup or something. Exactly. Now, uh, the English way is actually just to put the loose leaves in the pot directly. But that's a little messy because as you're pouring it, the leaves can come out yeah. and it's harder to clean the pot. So yeah. it's nice to have an infuser like this. You put the tea in there, you put this in your pot. Here, we'll you, go ahead and hold this up you, so we can uh, see pour, it. You pour boiling water into the pot and okay. you brew your tea. Now for a pot like this, would you, would you fill this whole thing up with tea? Like how much of the loose, the loose tea would you put in here? Uh, you use about one teaspoon per cup. Okay. So um, you figure lot. out, yeah, how many cups your teapot is, put that okay. many teaspoons in. Pretty right. easy. Like me, I live by myself. That's probably way too much tea. You can also get these things, which is basically just a diffuser cup, right? Yeah. So these, this is an infuser for the cup directly, or okay. you're probably familiar with the tea ball as well. Okay. This is a great beginner's uh, tool. Maybe you might get this to begin with. Uh, but it's a little fiddly for using all the time. Something like this. The infuser is much easier to use. You just put the tea in there, put it in your cup. Okay, and then you pour the hot water on top of it. How long would you want to let this steep for? So for black tea, you steep it about five minutes. Okay. Uh, green tea, about three minutes. Also, an important thing to remember is using the proper temperature water. Black tea, you want to use boiling water. Uh, green tea, you use less than boiling water, about 160 to 170 degrees. Okay, you can also get this one. One of my favorites. It's got a little rubber duck yes, there. Yes, this floats in the cup. Very, Very popular cool. as a okay. gift. Okay. Now, uh, you can also get these things. And you have some of these. If you don't want to buy one of these special infusers, you yep. can buy basically disposable tea bags. Exactly. These are make your own tea bags. And these are also great if you already have a pot, but it doesn't mm -hmm. have an infuser. Okay. Because you don't need to go buy a new pot. Just get some of these uh, make your own tea bags. Okay. Now, in case you're not into the world of loose leaf tea, you got how many flavors you have? I don't know. It, dozens and dozens, maybe over 100? About 150 different blends. Okay. Yes. So and every type of tea, caffeinated, non-caffeinated. You want stuff to wake you up. You want stuff to make you fall asleep. Yeah, and some people buy both. <laughs> yeah, kind of uh, uppers and downers. There you, you go. All natural, though. <laughs> all natural. Yes. Okay, David Edwards from the New Mexico Tea Company. All of these things are there. By the way, just real quick, how much are some of these infusers? Uh, the tea ball starts at about three dollars. Okay. Uh, this uh, very fancy, nice laser cut infuser, uh -huh. sixteen dollars. That's not bad. The uh, tea bags are around five dollars. Oh, okay. And these ones will last you forever. It is. It's uh, from a company called For Life, and it is For Life. Okay, David Edwards, New Mexico Tea Company. We got more information on how to make the best tea at our website, casa.com. Simply click on the Casa blog. David, thanks for all this. Appreciate it. Can't wait for you to make me a cup of tea. <laughs> Thank all you. Right, still to come here on Two Casa this morning, we're talking keeping your kids safe on social media. And did you know there are herbs and plants right here in New Mexico that can help battle that fall or winter cold? Coming up, we'll tell you about them right here on Two Casa this morning.